What's up everybody? Big John here. And I'm just gonna, a lot of people have been sending me, I just, I get a ton of emails every day about the products I use and they can't find them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share with you guys some of the products that I use and where I get them, okay? So first of all, if we're gonna start off with the peroxide mix that I use. Um, I've got a lot of emails claiming that people can't find it. So I'm going to show you specifically what I use and where I get it. I use Salon Care 40 Volume Clear. comes in the blue and white. This is the 40% mixture that I use. Then the cream is the same except for it comes in a red bottle and you don't need the big bottle like the liquid. I, I just use the small bottle. So it's the same product, 40%, it's just this is the cream. Okay, now I was just dipping my uh, simple makeup removers, the little round pads you could steal from your wife or your girlfriend. I was dipping those in the solution with my gloves on but then I just said to heck with it. While I was at Sally's, I bought another plastic pump, and this is all it is. So I just pour the mixture in here, and then when I need it, I just pump it onto the makeup remover, and I'm ready to rock and roll. It's a simple, you just pull it, you twist it to unlock it, and then you just, you just basically pump it. You unlock it, and then it just pumps, okay? So that's what I use. So you can get this, you can get the peroxide mix all from Sally's Beauty. They're usually in your small strip centers, your small strip malls. Um, that's where you can find it. Um, if you're not sure, go ahead and ask the lady, um, and she'll point you in the right direction. Um, I used to, I had to buy new ones um, because mine are about five or six years old, and they were just worn out. This is what I use to remove staples. They're plastic. They will not scratch the staple. Basically, these are uh, clay molding tools. Um, I don't use the one with the, the teeth. I just use um, the big one here to pull up the staple, and then I use uh, the smaller rounded one for better control. You can find these at Michael's. And I bought, I bought a couple sets because I'm going to be doing a lot of staple removing and I want to make sure I always keep a good pair. Also, if you do end up scratching these, you can always buff them out with your Dremel tool and get rid of the, the, the deeper scratches. That's why mine lasted so long. So that's what I use to remove staples so that they don't scratch the staples. These are clay modeling tool set from Michaels. They're made by Craftsmart. Okay. Then my parchment paper, I don't like to use the roll. Um, I like to use the uh, pop-up parchment sheets. They're, they're easier. You just pull it out, lay it down, you're ready to go. Um, this is what I use. They're perfect size for both my presses. And I get these at uh, Walmart or Target. They're about four dollars a pack and they're good for they say up to three uses but that's in baking they're good for me as long as the book's not overly dirty and nothing transfer it about five times and then i just toss them away for my everyday cleaning um i use um while i'm at sally's i pick these up i buy the large disposable uh vinyl gloves so i just buy them by the box it's a hundred count, so they, they last me uh, a pretty good while. My two presses are Tussies. I have a uh, slide away, which you just lift and you just move it to the side. Also, mine has the pull-out tray so that you're not restricted in any way. You can set your book, push it forward, then bring your slide over and then press. So it's made by Tussie. My clamshell press, which is a 15 by 15, is also made by Tussie, and I have two of each one, okay? So that's who makes my presses. My UV lights that I use, I currently use two sets. Um, I use two sets 
and how I position them is basically like this or like this. So I get the whole square of the book. I place two on either end and then I place two in the middle and I leave the, the lights straight down. They are adjustable. I leave them straight down and I cover the whole book completely in UV light. And, and then I put a towel over it because believe it or not, any outside light source is going to corrupt the, the beaming of the UV. So I always cover it to make sure that my UV light is getting 100% saturation on the book itself. Okay, and what I use is a UV light, LED, UV lamp, dual head, 20 watt. You can get them off of Amazon. They are $27.99 per. I own two sets, like I said. I also use to see all of the indentations, to see all of the spine ticks, to see every little bit of damage that you won't necessarily see with turning the book in light. I use a magnifying glass with a light. It's a diopter glass lens with the five times magnifier and the light itself is LED. So that's what I use. Okay, this is Big John. And for right now, if you have any questions, please ask. But right now, I'm out. Stop it.